Welcome back to A Beginner's Guide to Game Programming, a problem-solving approach. This is a series of video tutorials, as well as a written tutorial, on how to write basic video games. The first video in the series introduced you to using Allegro or SDL with C++ to make games. This episode is designed to be library independent and to cover more theory than code, and to help you design the structure of your game, as well as to give you some tips on the harder aspects. As the title suggests, this is a problem-solving approach to game programming. I am more likely to give you diagrams of a class than to just throw out code for an entire game. By working on it, designing, and even struggling with creating your game, you learn more and you develop problem-solving skills. The reason I do this is because you will retain more from solving problems on your own than you will if I show you how to write all of the code. That being said, this guide isn't meant to be unfair in any way, and hopefully it will help you more in the long run. You can always ask questions directly to me, or to everyone on the Musader message board, or collaborate with others, seek guidance, or look at other tutorials. So what are we making for this series? We're going to be working on a basic shmup. Examples of shmups, or shoot 'em ups are Gradius, R-Type, and even Galaga. The reason episode 2 is about shmups is because it's fairly easy to make a basic one. There won't be any physics formulas to deal with, and the collision is pretty basic, as we are not going to have any terrain, only the other enemies and bullets to collide with. This tutorial assumes that you know your basics of C++, including variables, if statements, loops, functions, classes, and inheritance, and pointers. It also assumes that you know the basics of Allegro, SDL, or a library of your choice, handling graphics input and sound. I may give examples of code that use SDL, but it should be pretty obvious as to what it does, and you should be able to tell what function in your own library would correspond. If you're not familiar with a library for handling graphics, input, and sound, and have pretty much just been making DOS prompt programs, then I suggest you check out Episode 1 of Beginner's Guide to Game Programming, or look up tutorials on the library, such as Loomsoft for Allegro or LazyFoo for SDL. If you haven't done any game programming and are interested on how to get started, then you should check out my FAQ video called Where Do I Begin? There is a written and video version, and it covers various languages as well as engines and other resources on getting started with game programming. Lastly, if you have any questions on portions of the tutorial, you can either leave a comment on YouTube, post to the Musader message board, or send me an email. My email address can be obtained from faq.musader.com.